Hey, Robert here from Dark Raven Wargaming. Now, today I'm just brainstorming and rambling a bit because I just got this new model and I'm thinking about how to convert, repaint, and make a plateau for it. So, fair warning, it's mostly rambling, but I just wanted to share my excitement in a quick vlog. So, the model is originally a mammoth for Scorn, which I recently bought partly painted and in dire need for some TLC. So, first thought is that I really love this model. It's just a massive chunk of awesome and uniqueness. Like, the original base is whole 12 centimeters, and it doesn't even fit on that. And by the way, if you haven't guessed it already, it will be my hope harvester with Engine of Damnation. And then Soul Grinder if I play Warhammer or something similar. So what I'm thinking about is firstly whether I'm gonna strip it or just paint over from what's there, because honestly I'm not even sure how I would strip it. I mean, I'd probably need a giant container and just a massive amount of ethanol. And the layers that's already there doesn't look that thick, so I'm not sure it's really needed. Then for appearance, I want it a bit different from the original. And most importantly, it must also fit on a 150 by 100 base, or as good as possible at least. So I'm thinking that the tusks must either go entirely, or at least be shortened a bit. And also, I want to add some kind of crew that looks to be handling both the mount and the cannon. And there's a really good spot for this on the backplate. So here you can probably build like a small cart like Hauda, for example from an orc chariot. Then for painting I will go with the same skin as the rest of the army. But on other parts it can deviate a bit. But I do want to keep it simple and not make it too colorful and complicated. So like no flashy colors, gold or so on. And next step which I will probably do first actually, is finish this plateau to stand on. And the seller kind of started it off with some foam, but it both looked plain and a bit fragile. So I started the next step by coating it in cement, which is the first time I'm using that on miniature stuff. And looking at it, I need to find a way to make the surface look like a rock or a boulder while still maintaining a flatness so it can stand. And I'm not yet sure how. So I feel like this will be a really slow project. Because I have a lot of planning and building to do, and I don't want to rush it. So you'll probably see a lot of other finished demon models before this one. And if anyone has some tips for the converting, like pieces to add, remove, reshape, or whatever, then I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching and peace out.